Have you tried installing the personal gateway, but you're getting an error saying that the analysis services connector is on your machine and that connector is not even on your box. So we're going to take a look at that and how to work around it. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today we're going to take a look at an error that came up when trying to install the personal gateway indicating that the analysis services connector was installed even though it wasn't on the customer's machine. And we're going to walk through what we need to do to get around that. So we can see here we've got the personal gateway installation and it's indicating that the wizard failed. And it tells us that we need to uninstall the Power BI analysis services connector before continuing. In this example, I've actually got the analysis services connector installed to reproduce the error. In the customer's case, they actually indicated that the analysis services connector was not installed. And our engineer on our side verified that with the customer and found out it wasn't there, but they were getting this error as well. So if they claim that they uninstalled it, but we're still getting this error, that means something was left behind. So we need to go in and figure out what is the personal gateway actually looking for? One nice thing it gives us right here is that we can actually go look at the log file for when it tried to uninstall. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this is the MSI log that gets generated whenever you try to install something or uninstall something. So let's go look for the error itself. So we can see here the error that was returned, which indicates that we need to uninstall the analysis services connector. The trick is to look up before that. And what we can see is we can see this connector found property. And the value of that is what we actually want to pay attention to. So in this case, it is this one zero DC zero uh, GUID. So let's go look at that. The next thing we want to do is we need to figure out where this GUID is used. So to find that out, we're going to take a look at process monitor and you can get process monitor by way of sysinternals. So just go to sysinternals.com and go look for the file utilities and you'll find process monitor there. Process monitor, run it as admin. And let's go run it again. Okay, we got our error. Let's go back and we'll stop. Can stop it by clicking on the little magnifying glass. And what we want to do next is just do a find for that GUID. So let me go back and copy it. Come over here. All right, it said it couldn't find it. So let's try it again without the hyphens inside of it. I couldn't find it either. So we're not seeing it in process monitor itself. So let's just do a raw search in the registry for it. Okay, now we're seeing it here as a dependency. Let's keep going. What we're looking for here is a, what's called a upgrade code. Okay, so here we can see we've got last use source. We've got this for the Power BI connector components. And one thing you'll, uh, if we go back to what was in the MSI log, we'll see that we had this Power BI com gateway components. So this is actually listed under the installer and products. So let's search for this GUID here. We'll copy that down. All right, come back up. All right, this is under installer features. Let's keep going. Again, we're looking for upgrade codes. So we're not seeing it here. There we go. So now we're inside of this upgrade code. So this is actually the item that we want. So we can copy that. So if an upgrade code is listed for the AS connector, if it's still present when we try to up install the Power BI gateway, this is actually going to prevent us from being able to upgrade. So what it's saying is that, look, we've detected that the AS connector is still installed on the machine, so we can't install the gateway at that point. Basically what we need to do is just perform a little cleanup here. The, the very first thing we need to do is verify that the AS connector is not installed. Um, because if it is, we just uninstall that, it should take care of this. And you can do that by going to Control Panel, um, go to Add Remove Programs, You'll see here that I've got the Power BI AS connector installed. You can just right click on that and say uninstall. Um, 
Like I mentioned in the customer's case, they said they had already done that. It wasn't listed here. One thing we could do is first off is remove this item from the upgrade codes registry key. That actually will just cause the check to come back as false and allow you to install the personal gateway itself. But before you go further on that, there are a couple other things you should go through and verify that you've cleaned up to make sure it's not there. So the first of this is this data transfer key, which is under HK Local Machine Software Microsoft, and then data transfer, that should be removed. So this includes items that are used for the connector itself, and we wanna get rid of any of that. We don't want any association there of what was left behind. And then after that registry key, what we wanna do is go to program files, um, and then make sure this Microsoft Data Management Gateway folder is removed as well, and then also the uh, Power BI Analysis Services Connector. Make sure both of those folders are not present when we go to do this. Once those are cleaned off, go ahead and install the Personal Gateway and it should install successfully for you. Okay, so we took a quick look at how to get around uh, an error message from installing the Personal Gateway if it indicates that it found the AS Gateway present even though you've actually uninstalled it and it's not there to uninstall anymore. So we just talked about the things you can do to just clean up any remnants that may be there. And then the gateway can be installed, or the personal gateway can be installed successfully. So I'd love to get your feedback. Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if there are things that maybe, if this helped you or if there were other questions that you had, love to answer those for you. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit subscribe. Every Tuesday I do a technical walkthrough such as this where I walk through something that we found in the last week or so that might be interesting to share out with you. And then every Thursday I do an information roundup where I take a look at the top items that I found in the last week that were interesting to me. And really this is about you. I want to help you be more successful in the work that you do and to get as much out there for you to reference. So go ahead and be part of the conversation and subscribe.